welcome everyone and thank you for being here. Uh, let me first say a thank you to all of the policy experts and the advocates who are with us, all of, uh, of whom have helped Senator Gillibrand and I uh, to uh, put together to construct this much needed legislation. Uh, Neera Tandon of the Center for American Progress, Deborah Ness of the National Partnership, your input in this effort really uh, has been invaluable and we're so, so grateful uh, to you. Also want to say a thank you to the Social Security Administration for talking with us and going through, letting us know what the technicalities are, what the, what, what the, uh, 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 how we might try to proceed. So it was a, a very much of a collaborative effort. A thank you to Annette, to Tom, and to Grant for sharing your stories uh, with us uh, this morning. Um, uh, I'm going to just briefly mention what they will talk about and then we will move forward and they will come forward and give you the benefit of their experiences. Annette, who is Vice President and Director of Human Resources, Environmental Service uh, Associates, is going to talk about how the California leave insurance law impacted her company. Uh, Tom Nides, who is Vice Chairman of Morgan Stanley, former Deputy Secretary of State, will talk about women with newborns who had to take unpaid leave. And Grant Dodson, a self-employed, a dad and a small business owner, will speak about his own family's situation and what benefit paid leave would provide his family. And I especially want to recognize, and she will be along shortly, um, my uh, co-conspirator here, my, uh, uh, and, and a champion, as you all know, uh, for working families in the United States Senate, and that's Senator Kirsten Gillibrand. Uh, I, again, appreciate all of you for being here today and for taking up this important cause, uh, working together to make paid leave real for families at long last. Um, today, the Senator and I are introducing the Family Act, and as I said, long overdue, common sense legislation that will create an independent trust fund, a self-sustaining national insurance fund within Social Security that will provide workers in America access to paid family and medical leave. This is something that families have been clamoring for, and today only a meager, where are you, Senator? Um, uh, today, only a meager 12 percent of workers have access to paid family leave through their employers. Fewer than 40 percent have access to paid medical leave for serious illnesses. This bill changes all of that. Specifically, the bill ensures eligible employees up to 12 weeks of partial income if they need to take time away from work, to, uh, and, and that is due to a health condition. Health conditions, what are they? Pregnancy, childbirth, injury or sickness to a child, parent, spouse, a domestic partner, the birth or adoption of a child, the injury of a family member uh, in the military, or exigencies arising from a service member's deployment. We've got all the bases covered. This will be funded by both employee and employer payroll contributions, two-tenths of one percent of a worker's wage each. That's two cents each for every $10 of wages. So for a contribution of less than $1.50 per week for a typical worker, families can have peace of mind, workplaces will be more efficient, productive, and family friendly. The bill, the fund will be administered by a newly created Office of Paid Family and Medical Leave at the Social Security Administration. Let me just repeat again, this is self-funding. It does not impact the Social Security Trust Fund or the Social Security uh, Disability uh, 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 Fund. Payroll contributions would cover both insurance benefits and administrative costs, and because eligibility is based on Social Security Disability, this fund would cover workers in all companies, no matter their size. The insurance fund idea is law in California, New Jersey, and Rhode Island. It's working there for families and businesses alike, and the need now is to make sure that it is national. Um, America's been waiting a long time for this kind of a solution. It was 50 years ago when President Kennedy signed legislation for the Commission on the Status of Women. He called for enacting paid maternity leave. 50 years is a long time. We've waited 
a long time. Mm -hmm. it, now this is, it, now is the time to get this done. Um, we are the only advanced economy that does not guarantee paid leave. Uh, family and medical leave, which became law 20 years ago this year. Hello, Judy Lichtman. How are you? This is very good. A good first step. It's been used 100 million times by men and women who need time for their families. But FMLA is unpaid. Eight out of ten eligible workers cannot afford to take it. Women still make up almost two-thirds of, of this number, and we need to ensure access to paid leave. I'm going to conclude by telling you a um, personal story. Some of you have heard this. Uh, I can attest uh, to the benefit of this, um, of the benefit of this legislation. In 1986, I was chief of staff uh, to then Senator Christopher Dodd of Connecticut. I was diagnosed with ovarian cancer. Um, I was lucky. The doctors caught it uh, by accident in an unrelated medical visit in stage one. Uh, but I needed time. When I went to see the senator to tell him that I was going to be hospitalized, uh, I didn't know, quite frankly, when I was coming back or whether or not I was going to get back. And he just looked at me. I was chief of staff. I was going to, about to take a leave to do the campaign. And um, it was shortly after he announced uh, for his second Senate term. And he said to me, Rosa, he said, you just go get yourself well. He said, your job is here, and this campaign <coughs> doesn't start without you. This is a man who authored the legislation, mm -hmm. who lived the legislation mm -hmm. before it became law. That's the opportunity that I had. That ought to be the opportunity for everyone in this nation not to have the fear of the loss of job and security because through no fault of their own, they have become ill or they have other medical concerns in their lives. Mm 